hata mimi nitafanya kama wao natembea kwa mtu nakuta amenunua TV yake kubwa aujui ametoa pesa wapi we unaenda kupata loni bandara hata uweke biashara mahali utapata kitu ya kukupata kukusaidia unanunua viti na TV na meza na pesa loni baadaye unakuja unachoto hizo viti sote unabaki vile uliwaukwa maana uliongozwa na tamaa na competition it is not a need so god will only answer your request your needs mahitaji yako na yajulikane kwa yeye mahitaji ni kama umetembea au na viatu ukafinywa miguu mwambie bwana sasa i am tired kwa kufinywa miguu naomba unibariki na viatu sasa mungu aone vile miguu imevura ndio akupatie viatu umwambie bwana nimechoka kukaa peke yangu miaka imeenda niongoze nipate mrembo wa kuoa god will hear that lakini sasa kwa sababu unaoa hata hujafikisha umri wa kuoa ni watu wamesema wengine wamekwambia sasa wewe unajua kwetu ni wewe tu umebaki oa ndio ufanye hivi ndio fit in the society that is the desires of the flesh god is not in a business of doing these things and you unaona sasa tunaomba maombi mengi tunaobanga kuhusu tamaa si mahitaji kwa hivyo enda ufanye personal examination of your prayers hiyo list umeandika ya maombi hebu enda uangalie utoe mambo ya wants na the needs uone kabisa kabisa hii ni hitaji kama ni pesa unataka Mungu hawezi kukupatia money of luxury. God cannot give you money for luxury. Ati ulikuwa na simu ndogo, e, sasa unataka simu ya Oppo ile ya 1000. Sijui ni 1000 ngapi, sijui ni 7000. Na hii simu Mungu anajua ni mawasiliano tu hiyo yako uko na 1500 unatosha. Hata hakuna pro, hakuna fa, hakuna faida ya utamsaidia kwa ufalme, haitakusaidia chochote. Ni show off tu ujulikane ya kwamba you have the best phone katika kanisa na society mungu ayuko katika that business of show off god is not for the christmas mungu si wa kuenda akifurahisha tamaa za mwanadamu god will only meet your needs not the desires of the flesh kwa hivyo bibi inasema namna gani mahitaji yako yale yanakuuma moyoni yajulikane ndio unaona mtu anaranda randa akitafuta nyumba iko na double bedroom na yeye anaishi ni zingu He is a single person. Ana mtoto, ana bibi, ana chochote ni mtu mmoja lakini anataka nyumba maana aliona watu wanaishi nyumba aliambiwa eh, single room ni, ni ile bed sitter ni self confused. Sasa kulingana na vile aliambiwa na watu wakasema msa hii ukibarikiwa ni kuwa na nyumba kubwa, nyumba iko na bed room mbili tatu na yeye ni mtu mmoja ana hata bibi ana watoto. Anaanza kuomba Mungu nipatie double bed room. God do not give you that double bedroom because you are a single. Hata nyumba zinasikia inaitwa double bedroom. Ni kumaanisha ni watu wa wengi watarara hapo. Na wewe ni mtu mmoja unaenda kuomba upewe double bedroom. Alafu unaanza kukopa pesa, unanunua gari na unaishi kwa plot za watu. Ndio watu tu fit in the society, watu wajiwange uko na gari. These are the desires of the flesh and the God is not in a business of answering the desires of the flesh. Unanunua gari ya nini? When you need to have a business you fanye kazi upate pesa ununue plot yako kwanza ujenge ujenge parking ndio gari ikuje Sasa wakati mwingi kile kinafanyanga maombi yetu yasijibiwe we are so much carnal carnality we pray about what we feel about the society kile tunaona watu wengine wanafanya unakuwa moved by what people are doing not not a need God will only answer that needs. Hapa ndiyo Biblia inasema let your needs let your request be known unto him. Inasema mahitaji yako si tamaa sako yajulikane na yeye akiwa mbinguni. Mungu hivyo ndivyo anataka. Kwa hivyo mambo ya hapa duniani ni sisi tutaambia Bwana Mungu I don't afford to eat. Nisaidie baba wetu wa mbinguni maana umesema ya kwamba tukitii tutakula mema ya dunia na sasa i'm not eating the good of the lord that is a good prayer god will hear that prayer man it is it is based on the word of god unamwambia mungu sasa mimi naishi hivi nimerarukiwa sasa sina nguo nataka mungu nipatie nguo nivae nifiche uchi wangu 
That is a good prayer. God will answer that. Si sasa unwe nguo unwe zingine unwe zingine na unataka zingine uombe uone mtu mwingine ametoka Nigeria na kitenge yake na wewe unataka kwenda hiyo Nigeria. Ndio ucompete na yeye. Sasa muwe, muingie katika competition. Mwambie Bwana kile kinakuuma. Mwambie Mungu naumwa na mgongo na Biblia inasema kwa mapigo yako Yesu Kristo tulipokea uponyaji by your stripes we received the healing na umwa na tumbo na umwa na kichwa i mean pain deliver me god so that i can worship you with the freedom hiyo ni maombi mazuri mungu atajibu hiyo maombi haraka mwambie bwana naomba hii biashara yangu nisaidie ipanuke hata fungu langu la 10 liongezeke bwana nikuletee pesa nzuri sisimame na kazi yako hapa duniani that is a good prayer God will listen to that prayer. Mungu atajibu maombi ya competition na maombi ya tamaa. Kwa hivyo maombi yetu ndio yawe effective. We should question our motive. Why am I asking for this thing? Ni nini inani push? What is pushing you? The force behind that kulia mbele za Bwana. Watu sasa wanaombanga baba naomba unibariki. Watu wamenisoea Baba Mungu wangu naomba unibariki. Hata kwetu hakuna mtu ndio kwetu hata kujulikane. Hata hakuna kitu inafaidika. Kwani kujulikana Mungu anafaidika na nini? That does not preach the gospel. Afadhali ungemwambia Bwana nibariki, ndio wenye dhambi wajue kwamba God you can press. Unaweza toa mtu katika mabundi, umsimamishe na watu wakiona hivyo wakimbilie kanisa. That prayer will touch God. Maana kwa kweli atataka kuinue na wewe umshuhudie useme ni bwana mimi mnanijua nilikuwa maskini sikuwa na chochote nikamulilia bwana akanitoa na anaweza kuwatoa that will benefit the kingdom of god lakini sasa ile tunaomba ndio watu waone watu wa kwetu ndio wajue kwetu wakuja pakiwa gari sasa sisi tunaomba ndio kwetu kupakiwe gari sasa kukipakiwa gari mungu atafaidika na nini by parking that car kwa hivyo you should question our motive when you pray tuone ya kwamba are they fleshly desires which are pushing at to pray ama ni mapenzi ya Mungu tunaomba sawa sawa ama tunaomba ndio tufaidi ufalme wa Mungu ama tunaomba ndio kiburi Mungu hata kupatia ni zile wimbo wengine Mungu anaombea ndui zangu e, nikibarikiwa wajione sasa unataka kutisha watu barikiwe na gari wapigie vumbi God will not give you that car ndio ukapigie watu vumbi hiyo ni uongo God cannot do that Mungu hawiko kwa business ya kuonyesha watu God is in a business of glorifying his name and showing his power. Hivyo tu ya kwamba nibarikiwe Bwana, nikaambie wenye dhambi ya kwamba unaweza bariki mtu. Hiyo sasa nadi wafunguke macho wa kukimbilie. Hiyo maombi itakuwa mazuri sana. Lakini sasa nataka tubarikiwe upite hapo na Brando upigie mwenye dhambi bumbi. Ajue, ajue umebarikiwa. God will not do that. Hata uimbe ukiomba ulie God will not do that. Kwa hivyo kama tunataka kubarikiwa haraka let us question the motive of our prayer. Let us examine our hearts before we go before the Lord. Tuangalie ni nini kilicho moyoni, ni nini kinakupush. Ni uchungu unasikia ama ni watu wamekusumbua kama ni watu wachana na watu. Watu hawakukuita uliitwa na Yesu Kristo. Mwambie I want to glorify you Jesus Christ. Nimeishi maisha ya kuwa bachara naona nimefika e, kuoa na sasa kama una nyumba uzioe usitafute bibi kwanza tafuta nyumba kwanza omba Mungu akupatie nyumba kwanza the first thing first sikuje mbere kwa hivyo nikimalizia nataka nikwambia kwamba jambo lingine lile ninasuianga maombi yetu alaka sana limeandikwa katika Psalms 121 wakati tunategemea mwanadamu there is a danger hii maombi ya kuomba naomba baba uguze mtu Mungu ambi mwenye ataguza Mungu ataguza hata mtu akujui wacha kuangalia mtu ako na pesa hapo kanisani naanza kuelekeza maombi kwake naomba by fire by force aguze usiku anione wacha na hiyo God will not do that na baadaye utasikia sauti zikikwambia enda umwambie eh, bwana amenituma utamwambia na kutoroke na kufungia simu maana you are doing foolishness That is not God. Kwa hivyo tukitaka maombi yetu yajibiwe haraka. Hebu tuangalie Psalms 121 mstari wa kwanza. I lift up my eyes to the hills. 
Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Daudi akasema nitainua macho yangu niangalie milimani. Musaada wangu unatoka wapi? Musaada wangu utatoka kwa Bwana, aliyesiumba mbingu na dunia. If we want our prayers to be answered very easily, ni tuangalie mbingu usiwe na watu moyoni mwako. Hiyo milima ni watu. Milima iko ndani ya moyo. There are mountains. Kuna watu umeinua kabisa. Utasikia mtu akisema nikiguzwa hapa, unajua tunajuanga na ndio ndio ni wetu. Na as county commissioner ni wetu na ukona yeye. Kwa hivyo anataka kuonyesha msanda wake wote yako kwa hiyo county commissioner maana wa coordinated. Utasikia mtu akiwa mgonjwa anasema makandara daktari yule mkubwa kabisa hapo ananijua. Hata nikimpigia simu saa hii atarespond. Sasa wewe that is a mountain in your heart. Ime replace God. Wewe siona mtu Mungu unaonanga hao watu wameinua kama milima. Ukiwa na shinda ndio umewasave na na, na ndio utapigia simu when you have that problem. You will never come heaven. Daudi akasema aliangalia milima, akaona msaada kutoka milimani. Akageuka haraka akaanza kuangalia Mungu, akajua msaada wake utatoka kwa Mungu. Mungu kweli anasaidia anga watu kupitia watu, lakini usitafute wacha Mungu atume mtu mwenyewe, a person you don't know, aje akwambie the Lord has spoken to me concerning your situation. I will minister that situation. That is the best way. Lakini ukianza kuona mtu ana gari yake useme baba Naomba huyu aguzo huyu unasema aguzo maana ako na gari anaweza kuwa na shinda mingi hata hiyo gari ajalipa runi sasa unamletea shinda anaona kama wewe sasa ndiye problem mwingine mbaya sana maana unakuja kuongeza kindonda kwa uchungu tayari ujui ana rarangi jua hiyo gari sasa unaona ako na gari unaona ako na pesa wakati tunaomba tuangalie mioyo yetu pia tusije tukawa tumeinua watu na Jeremiah 17 msali wa wa watano imeongea maneno haya Inasema hivi this is what the Lord says simulate hivi sasa it is the Lord cast is the man who trust in man mwanadamu ameraniwa yule anayemtumainia mwanadamu this is what the Lord says cast is the one who trust in the man and it depends on the flesh for his strength and whose heart turns away from the Lord you will be like a bush in the wasteland you will not see prosperity when it comes you will dwell in the parched places of the desert in sort and land where no one lives araniwa mtu huyo ambaye ametumaini lake anamtumainia mwanadamu na moyoni amemwacha bwana akaacha akafanya mwanadamu ndiye tegemeo lake ukiomba tu unaona wanadamu unaona anti yangu kazi yangu shetani naye yako hapa anakuambia hata anko yako ule ulimwacha na robi ni, ni mwisho wa mwezi mpigie simu ukimpigia kwanza umwambie shinda anakuambia nitakutumia njioni Jioni ukipiga unasikia mteja wa nambari uliopiga apatikani kwa sasa na hivyo ndio umewekwa busy. Unakuwa unapiga unaona busy 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 maana hataki shinda zako yako na saki. Maana ulienda kumsumbua. We unaishi kwa raana kwanza Biblia inasema utaishi kama fukara. Fukara njangwani. Fukara ni mtu mbaya sana wacha nikwambie. Tajiri ni mtu ule anaweza kula na alishe watu na wakutu watu wa kule kwake na asikii chochote. Watu wakitajirika kabisa kabisa uone unaacha mguu ya kuku hapo na kifua na kiguzi na watu kama kumi wanakula kifua inarara hapo hata hakuna mtu anauliza hiyo kifua swali that is how to become rich lakini ukiona unapata pesa mnakula na bibi yako na watoto wako na mraramba sahani na hakuna kitu inabaki hapo you are poor alafu kama unaishi nyumba ya 20 20,000 unaramba sahani na bibi mnaramba sote na kila kitu inaisha hakuna kitu iko kwa fridge kesho mnanua nyingine that is poverty fukara sasa ndiye mbaya Fukara ni mtu ambaye anaishi by the masses of the people. Kuvaa kwake ni watu, kukula ni watu, kutembea ni watu, hata karibu akipumua ni watu anapumua tu. Hawesiishi maisha huyo mtu. Huyo ni fukara. Mali anarara ni kwa watu. Nguo ni za watu wamevaa. Watu asipotoa hawesi kula. Huyo ni fukara. Sasa Biblia inasema ukianza kutegemea watu utakuwa kama fukara nyikani. You will be needful of everything. Utahitaji kila kitu. Maana hata Mungu akija kubariki mtu anamuulizanga uko na nini ndio ni kubariki dia aliuliza Musa what is in your heart Sasa wewe hauna chochote fukala God is looking you to you anaona wewe sasa maana you are put your hope in men hiyo inasuianga maombi yetu When we pray mawa, mawaso yetu yamejaa wanadamu na mioyo we are putting our trust on men that will not be an effective prayer 
tutapata shinda because you are living under a curse. Kwa hivyo nikimaliza nitakwambia namna gani. Daudi alisema some trust in chariots and the horses but we trust in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Put your faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Trust in God. When you call upon him, usitake mtu yote akuje kwa akili yako na moyo wako. Ukimaliza Biblia inasema by prayer and thanksgiving, answer ku worship Mungu. Wacha kupika pika simu. Bwana asifiwe. Mumenenewa na Bwana. Hatujanenewa. Na hatutanenewa. Wewe endelea kuongea na Mungu acha kutuzungua tunenewa na hatutaki kunenewa hata saa hiyo. Wewe ni unene na Bwana na utulie na umngojee patient. Biblia na Daudi anasema nilimngoja Bwana kwa saburi akasikia kilio changu akaja akanitoa katika shimo la uteresi pray and wait first peter 5 msali wa 7 inasema casting all your burdens unto him for he cares for you yule kiswahili nasema mupatie mizigo yako yote maana anashughulika kila wakati kwa sababu ya mahitaji yako that is very nice kujua kwamba god is busy akishughulika when you pray unaachia mungu mzigo sasa ndiye anashughulika na wewe vile unaonanga mtoto anatoka amefukuzwa school fees anakuja anaweka mbagi hapo anaambia baba unajua mimi nimeitishwa 1300 na sijui substitution na nini na nini alafu anatoa nguo anabandisha anaweka nguo sa sport anatoka kucharasa mpira without no care hiyo mambo ameachia babake sasa babake ndiye atajua kama atakopa kama ataenda kwa mshwari that is his business when you pray kaa kama huyo mtoto anza kucheza na kufurahia God atakuita siku moja akwambie kile uliniomba nimekuletea mai sana. You will be very happy. Na utazunguana na watu na utaanza kuinuka na utakaa kwa heshima. Ukianza kuomba omba utasumbua watu na watu watakuchukia. Kwa hivyo nikimaliza nitakwambia namna gani? Let us put our hope in God. Let us pray and check our motives. Let not put our trust in men. Tuangalie moyo wetu isije kukandanganywa na shetani. Maana watu wakiingia moyo wetu wanakuwa sanamu and the god hates idol worship you are worshiping people in form of idols in your heart umewabeba kuna watu umeandika mahali hata kwa kitabu hawa nikipata shinda ndio nitaita nilifungue whatsapp leave these things alone nifungue kwa whatsapp ndio sasa tuchangiwe hapo hiyo maneno yatafanya uishi kama fukara njangwani na utaona mema ya kija kwa hivyo nataka kumalisia nikikwambia namna gani wa ibrania 4 Sali 14 hapo ndio nitamalizia neno la mwisho inasema namna gani tumkaribie Yesu Kristo let us do near to Jesus Christ inasema yeye anajua shinda zetu kile kilifanya Yesu avae mwili aje hapa duniani atoke mbinguni anakuelewa sasa ukimwambia unasikia uchungu anajua alitandikwa viboko vya mgongo na akajua kweli watu wanataandika ngo huko duniani so when you cry now anaweza jua what you are crying for Aki ukitembea uchoke hata yeye alitembea akachoka na miguu ukianza kumlilia katika hiyo situation god can understand you more better kuliko old testament aibrania ndio inatufundisha hivyo inasema hivi aibrania 4 mstari wa 12 nasema ya 14 aibrania 4 chapter 4 verse 14 inasema therefore since we have a great high priest who has gone through the heavens Jesus the son of God let us hold firmly to the faith we profess for we do not have an high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses but we have the one who has been tempted in every way just as we are yet he did not do sin let us then approach the throne of grace with the confidence to karibie kiti cha rehema pale na ujasiri so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in the time of need tumkaribie Yesu Kristo pale alijaribiwa katika kila jambo aliyohusunishwa kwa mambo yote akasikia machungu akataandikwa viboko akaumia akatembea kukiwa na jua tukilia sasa tumwambia we are in pain he can understand us so let us draw near to the throne of mercy do that so that we can find grace and the mercy to help us in time of need Biblia inasema you are a man familiar with our weaknesses. Nitasoma Romans sita kadhaa kusoma hiyo Romans mpaka niisome maana it is the best. Nisoma nikimalisa nikwambie hivi. Nikutie moyo nikwambie leo enda ukaombe. Angalia kwe, uzi, angalia kama uko na fresh desires. Question your heart. Do you have mountains? Kuna watu umeinua mlimani mioyo wako ukainua watu fulani 
waweke chini maana ni idols go to god with a pure heart katika roma 8 that one inasema what then shall we say in response to this if god is for us who can be against us he would not spare his only son but gave up gave him up for us how will we not also along with him graciously give us all things he who did not spare his own son but gave him for us all how will we not also along with him graciously give us all things aliye ambaye alimtoa mwanae akumhurumia akamtupa huko duniani ataandikwa aibishwe na kwa sababu yetu ndio tuokolewe atakosaje kutupa vitu vyote hapa duniani vile tunahitaji he will give even more the bible says to him who can do accordingly and above what we desire or we ask that is our lord jesus christ anaweza kukupatia akusindishie hata yale ujaomba hata kile ujaomba saa hii mungu anajua kile utahitaji kabla ujaomba anajua what you need anajua your needs ndio unaonanga sasa zingine maombi yako yanajibiwa opposite kali maana unaomba pesa kumbe si pesa zinashinda hata ni mali unaweka biashara mungu anahakikisha hiyo biashara inakufa kabisa ndio unatafuta nyumba mali pengine sasa unasema kwani naomba biashara inaisha ni god is taking you out of there anajua hapo hakuna hakuna kitu utawapo ni mji mji mkavu sasa unaomba baba hii biashara inuke mara hii ishe mshelf zinabaki ble god anakufukusa hapo kabisa unaenda kutafuta nyumba mali pengine ukilia ukienda huko ndio sasa unakuta mambo ni mazuri unashinda hapo hata hujauza watu hata wanakubariki na vitu ambavyo vinaitisha because god has possession you kwa hivyo god can do more than what you ask he has wisdom he has knowledge mungu anajua mambo mengi yale ujui hata hizo vitu nalilia pengine mungu anaona sina maana maana asikija atastaleta shinda kuna vitu anafaa lete kabla ya hiyo sasa wewe unaomba unaona vitu vingine vinakuja na sio vile uliomba god is better is wiser than you kwa hivyo tujenyekee na tunyenyekee mbele za Bwana Mungu wetu na tukiomba tuamini pray and believe and you will find the result kwa hivyo that is all we have today ile Mungu alikuwa amenifunulia about how to pray an effective prayer effective prayer ni maombi tunaomba na tunaona result so god bless you as you continue in the prayer father in the mighty name of jesus christ we thank you for this lunch hour umetufundisha about the prayer and effective prayer kama vile biblia inasema james alisema ya kwamba the prayer of a, the effective prayer of elisha's man availed much we need our prayers to avail much to do much my dear lord atutaki tuombe maombi mengi alafu tunaona tulisoti tudogo tunaomba tunakesha tunajinyima chakula tunaenda bila kukula we go, go to the state of mourning and we see nothing we want to pray and see our results Asante baba wetu Mungu tuendelee kutufundisha saindi maana wewe ndiye mwalimu wetu na ni katika jina la Yesu tumeona kuamini God bless you